Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite mobile phone. That's a quite new device. It's not, uh, I mean, it has been out there for a couple of months, but um, it's still pretty new. And so I thought maybe it's worth to give an update. Sometimes they change packaging over time of the first experience maybe some uh, people were complaining about something and then you never know maybe they ch change uh, packaging uh, accessories over time so it's always good to have uh, an updated unboxing so it's just not unboxing it's not a review i will i will do reviews of that of course especially with the camera uh, but this is just the unboxing to see what's in the packaging so that's the uh, xiaomi mi 8 lite 64 gigabytes version there are two versions now listed on amazon the 64 gigabyte and the 120 28 gigabytes so that's the 64 and what you see here that's one of the big complaints some people had they were saying, yeah, uh, they ordered this thing in USA and they didn't get a US plug. Now, as you can see, they added this, obviously outside of the box, they added this uh, adapter, which uh, you can use in US and almost everything fits into that. So that's actually... Uh, a plug which I've been using uh, since a couple of years and uh, it's really good so almost everything really fits into that and you can use that for US so to cut to open the plastic I recommend to uh, the inner side there's a gap here in between where you can cut with a small knife and then take away the plastic and yeah by the way i uh, hope you can see that maybe uh, detailed description uh, mi 8 light midnight black 4 gigabytes ram 64 gigabytes of rom the thing is there are other versions around especially other uh, colors but uh, looks like they are not uh, available it at US at least at the moment and it says it's the global version so let's see what we can expect in the packaging of the global version so the thing which I really like that it has a really good protection as you can see the mobile phone doesn't sit on top of the packaging which is usually the case with most of the um, manufacturers <clears throat> uh, here this is not the case here we have uh, these things inside uh, on, on top of the phone which gives a little bit of extra protection let's say if somebody bumps on that or puts some heavy stuff on that so what we get is uh, manual I guess can't even read that several a lot of languages uh, that's not the um, that's not instructions. I think that's what's that? Warranty. That's warranty notice. Okay, we don't need that at the moment. And that's the yeah. That looks more like instructions in a couple of languages. If you're interested to know which languages, I zoomed it in. Yeah. That's pretty good and yeah usually you don't need uh, these instructions but yeah in case you need that always helpful maybe just to find out how you can insert um, SIM card so we get this um, thing here which you can use to push in where the SIM card is to pull out the tray that's always good um, I put it back I don't need that at the moment so here we get 
an adapter for the um, headphones so because it only has a USB-C connector and so we get this cable uh, for the microphone or headset that's really good that that's uh, already included that's it from this and what I am really surprised is to find this case I didn't expect that in the listing um, yeah it looks like it's a black <laughs> it's a black it's a black case it's a semi transparent so you can see uh, yeah a little bit through it but uh, yeah it's good so not bad I ordered a transfer fully transparent one so I will check the difference maybe this is a little bit heavier more protection I don't know this is transparent white um, didn't come with the packaging so let's take it out of the box and see so that's the phone as you can see the camera is uh, sticking out or popping out a little bit some kind of warning the email number and we get a decent USB-C cable yeah don't have to open that it's normal uh, USB I think that's called USB-A <coughs> sorry USB-A to USB-C here you can see that USB-C and the power adapter that's uh, I don't know which language uh, which countries it fits it definitely fits uh, to Switzerland which is nice because uh, yeah a lot of people a lot of you already know that I'm originally from Switzerland so that's good when I'm traveling home so that's a good thing so for me but anyway um, it will fit here as you can see works like this so it's a little bit lengthy then with the adapter but it still works so let's see how the power that's uh, how much power is that output I, I can't almost read that yeah that's 10 watts I think it's 5 volts and 2 amp amps so it's actually only 10 watts so here we can read that it's 10 watts so as far as I have heard this phone should uh, can be charged with 18 watts at least I have found uh, website where it states that so we'll find out if there if there's a possibility to use a more powerful charger than this one uh, to charge it even faster so let's take out this but I guess there's not more than that so I haven't been able to pull that out so I guess there's nothing underneath so that is it that's what you get so I put everything here so you see that the case charger cable and the adapter here so I will zoom out a little bit so you can see what you get uh, yeah everything what you get so you see it now on one picture the whole thing so that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. Um, so stay tuned to my next videos about how to set up and make pictures and other things. So yeah, hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.